Hey guys, it's me, Alexandra Rose. Welcome to my vlog, Rock and Rose. Um, today, we're going to be talking about O Town. And uh, I got my little cheat sheet here that I wrote down the things I wanted to talk about. Um, you guys have no idea the kind of emotional roller coaster that I've been through today, so my brain is kind of scattered all over the place. So that's why I have written down the things I want to talk about. So yeah, <laughs> don't pay me no mind if I'm looking down. Um, originally I was supposed to be talking about Vampire Diaries. Um, that was like three weeks ago, I know, and I'm so sorry. But something very special happened today, guys. Today and last week and like so many things throughout this past week total has happened that has been so unbelievably amazing I just had to switch up my subject um, like I said we're talking about O-Town O-Town finally got their own official Twitter it's not checkmarked but hey it works because it is them um, they followed me they retweeted my video that I posted of my niece that was dancing to all or nothing um, and then they sent me a direct message on Twitter telling me I had great videos because they saw the video of my niece. Um, what else? Uh, on Instagram, I had posted a video, or not a video, I'm sorry guys, a picture of me editing some stuff for my vlog that I'm doing now, which I have to re-record everything. I'll tell y'all why in a minute. Um, and then my favorite member, Eric Michael Estrada, he commented on it saying thank you so you know hey there's another thing and then today guys um i don't know if any of you follow me on facebook or are friends with me on facebook or anything like that or if you follow me on tumblr or twitter or instagram i don't know but i'm pretty sure you know by now that for the past three days four days i don't know how many days whenever it started I have been trying my hardest to win this contest that they put out on Facebook, on their Facebook page, to win a Skype call. They're going to pick five people, five people to do Skype calls with. And guys, I have been sharing this status for the past three or four days. Okay, like constantly sharing it, sharing it, sharing it. And <laughs> today I found out that I won. I won the first call. Um, I don't know when it's going to be. But, I don't care if it's tomorrow or two weeks from now or a month from now. As long as it happens, guys, I will be happy as all get out, okay? Extremely happy because I have worked so hard to win that. I have been sharing that status over and over and over again. And I finally won. And I just, that's a part of the emotional roller coaster, guys. I'm so excited. Like, I'll tell you the story later, but I pretty much scared the hell out of my boss, okay? <laughs> Because I was so excited, and I'm I'm still very excited, and I can't wait for it to happen. So, yay! <laughs> um, today's vlog is going to be dedicated to the boy band that has always held my heart. Um, for those of you who don't know who O Town is, which I hope there is not that many out there, because you guys need to know who O Town is. If you don't know who they are, YouTube them, Google them, look them up. They're amazing. They're great. You'll love them. I promise you that. Um, their boy band that was formed on, in 2000 on the original, original Making the Band. No, P. Diddy did not create Making the Band. Making the Band was originally aired on ABC. Um, the five original members are Eric Michael Estrada, Jacob Underwood, Trevor Pinnock, Ashley Parker Angel, and Ikaika Kohono. Uh, Kahano, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but um, they were the five that were picked out of the house to be in O Town. And towards the end of the first season of the making the band for them for O Town, um, Ikaka just decided that he wasn't he wasn't meant to be there, and he he left the house, he left the group, and decided he didn't want to be a part of it. Um, all of the other four members who had made the group unanimously decided to bring Dan Miller out to audition for the group. All four of them said his name separately and thank God for that because O-Town would not be O-Town without you Dan. And guys, 
did good. Good pick. Um, so I guess we're going to talk about the members right now. Um, let me start by saying I really don't know what they've all been up to lately. Um, like I said, I just kind of have a few little notes written down. Um, maybe a little bit more than a few notes, but hey. <laughs> but let's talk about the members. We're going to start off with my favorite member, Eric. Um, been my favorite since day one. When y'all were auditioning to get into the group, um, your voice is amazing. You're a great dancer. Um, you just, you were always my favorite. You can ask my mother. <laughs> always my favorite. Um, you're handsome and your personality just flew off the walls and showed throughout making the band and as a member of the group. Um, your sense of humor is hilarious. You kept me rolling definitely during making the band and your personality on stage even like in the concert in the concert DVDs and stuff like that. Dude, you're awesome. Love you. <laughs> um, Dan, let's talk about you. Um, like I said, thank God. Thank God that they chose you to come and audition. Thank God that you made the audition. Um, O-Town would not be O-Town without you. It just wouldn't. Um, you brought a power and a leadership to the group when they needed it the most. And I think that is what is most important about your role. And um, you, just another voice that is so amazing, another personality that is so amazing. You're very good looking. All of you are very good looking. I mean, you are. Um, Jacob blew me away. Blew me away from the beginning with that voice. Your voice is so strong. Your dancing is so strong. And you stand up for what you believe in. Back then, um, with the music, how you wanted the music to be, um, and you being on the songs, you know, they were trying to change all your parts, and I don't think they should have. Because you are one of kind. There is no one else out there like you. And that is, that is a fact. There is nobody that can compare it to the voice that you have. And that's saying something. Uh, Trevor. Trevor, you are my mom's favorite. Um, I don't know um, how many people actually know this, but my mom is the one who got me into making the band and who got me into O-Town. If it wasn't for her, I don't know if I ever would have heard of you guys because I didn't I didn't watch a lot of TV back then. I didn't watch a lot of TV. I didn't know what was going on. I was a young kid. You know, I played outside all the time. TV wasn't a big important thing for me. Um, but you are my mom's favorite. And, um... Um... You are more of a dancer. Your voice wasn't as strong as other guys when you started out, but it came around and it grew. And your awkwardness made you so relatable. And I think that is what drew a lot of um, the judges' attention towards you. You were relatable to everybody. And I think that's what was most important. Um, Ashley, I gotta say, I'm very disappointed that you weren't doing the reunion, dude. I can't believe you chose not to do it. I mean, I can't. I can understand why. Um, I know that you're working on your own career. You're acting. Um, I wish you the best of luck in everything that you do. Everything you choose to do from here on out. You know, we miss you. We love you. You are a crucial part of O-Town. But, like I said, I understand why. Best of luck. Um... The debut self-titled album, O-Town, um, it was released in 2001. It was their most successful album. Um, you have Liquid Dreams, Every Six Seconds, Girl, Sexiest Woman Alive, Life Should Be a Crime, Shy Girl, All or Nothing, Sensitive, The Painter, Take Me Under, All for Love, Baby I Would, and We Fit Together. Um, there were four singles four singles that were released from the first album. Um, Liquid Dreams, All or Nothing, We Fit Together and Love Should Be a Crime. Um, yeah, I showed you guys the CD already. That's the guys. It does look beat up, I know. I've had it for a while. It is beat up. Thank you. Um, I think the album was great. I do. I think it was very poppy. Very what it should have been back then you know the guys came in at a time where the boy band era was ending and they had to put out some great music and they did the first album is amazing 
Um, I love the songs and each one complements each member with their part. You know, their, their voices that come in on the songs, they make the songs what they are. And like I said, no one else could make them like they could, that's for sure. Um, for their second album, I have it right here. Um, O2. That's O2 right there. I know you see the glare from the thing. <laughs> um, and to be honest, guys, I think that this one, O2, was a lot better than the first album. I don't know how many of you agree with me. I don't really care how many of you agree with me. Um, I know that the first album did better, but I think this one should have done a lot better, too. I really do. Um, it was so raw, and it had so much more emotion put into the songs. If that makes any sense, I don't really know. Um, these songs really meant a lot to me. Um, from the damage, these are the days I showed her. Um, suddenly craving over easy those songs really got to me and I love all the other ones like you know I only dance with you favorite girl been around the world make her say the joint girl like that and you can't lose me um, they they all are songs that I really do love um, but I had more of a connection to these songs than I did the other ones on the first album and um, I really wish it had done a lot better but once again like I said these guys came out when the boy band era was ending. You know, they came out and they gave their all and that's all that really mattered. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's talk about the DVDs. Um, I guess I'll start with the first one. Uh, Live from New York, right here. Which, which it came out on VHS. I originally had this on VHS, guys. Just so you know, um, I watched it so much that the tape split. <laughs> uh, so I finally got it on DVD. Um, these are songs from their first album. They perform uh, live, obviously. That's live from New York. Sorry, one moment. I have a lot of those. <laughs> um, they perform "Take Me Under," "Girl," "Baby I Would," "We Fit Together," "Sensitive," "Sexiest Woman Alive," "Painter," "Shy Girl," "Love Should Be a Crime," "Liquid Dreams," "Every Six Seconds," and "All or Nothing." I really wish the guys had performed All or Nothing, not All or Nothing, I really wish the guys had performed All for Love, um, it's one of my favorite songs, and um, yeah, but this is an amazing DVD, amazing them in concert, it has um, We Fit Together, Liquid Dreams, and All or Nothing music videos, and some, uh, they were before seeing footage, I've never really watched the never before seeing footage, so I really don't know, sorry. Um, next would be this one. This one goes with the O2. Um, it's, I don't know if you guys watched the Nickelodeon performance they did. That's what this is from Nickelodeon. They did a Nickelodeon thing. And, um, they performed Favorite Girl from The Damage. I showed her over easy. I showed her as playing now. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Um, over easy, all for nothing. We fit together and these are the days. Um, it also has the These Are The Days music video and exclusive interviews with the group. Once again, I haven't watched that part. <laughs> I like the concerts. Sorry guys, I don't really pay attention to other stuff. Let's talk about Twitter. Um, I created my Twitter to support O-Town back in 2011 when I first heard about the reunion. Um, I heard about it off of like TMZ or something like that. I don't really know exactly where, but it like showed a video of Eric talking about Ashley not doing the reunion, and that's when I first heard about it. So I created this Twitter, which is at Bring O Town to Arkansas. Well, it's AR, AR. It's at Bring O Town to AR. AR. I'll put the link below. You know, okay. When the guys made their page, their official um, O Town official. Twitter page, I immediately followed. Okay, like there was no stuff for me. Of course, I'm gonna follow them. It's O Town, you know? And so they do these little things where they follow back people if you retweet their tweets, whatever. And so one day I did, and then like it was like, boom! They follow me! Like they follow me on Twitter. It's amazing. 
And it was also amazing because I already had Trevor Pennant following me. Oh, y'all, my dreams are just like, like thrashing right now. Like you have no idea. And um, I was like, it was just like, these are my boys, my boys, and they followed me out of all people, even though they followed other people, which congratulations to you guys. I know you're just as excited as I am, but they followed me out of God only knows how many people who retweeted that tweet. Um, so then one day I'm at work, I'm at work and, um, I'm making teas, just making my sweet teas for my job and my phone buzzes and I look down and it's like, boom. And y'all, sure enough, O-Town has retweeted my video of my niece <laughs> dancing to All or Nothing from like three and a half years ago. Um, yeah. And then uh, once again, it was like, boom. I had a direct message from him telling me I had great videos. Okay. Now trust me, I know. I know they di that they sent direct messages to other people and they retweet other people, but y'all, like, nothing like that ever happens to me. Nothing ever happens to me like that. So, I was so excited. Okay, guys. Um, my Instagram. A few days ago, I, back when I was originally going to post this video, um, I was experiencing, like, some technical difficulties on my computer. <laughs> so, I didn't really get to get it posted. And I had to re-record everything today. But, um, I posted a little picture of me you know, saying I was editing my vlogs before I started editing it, so I didn't know. And I tag, every time I do something about O-Town, I tag the guys that I follow on O-Town. That's Eric, Jacob, and Trevor. Dan, I have yet to find <laughs> on there. I don't think he's on there um, anymore, at least. I don't know. But, um, you know, and then it was like the next day, Eric had commented on it saying, thank you, with a smiling face. And that's not much. And that's not much. But once again, that's my favorite guy. You know, I said this in the beginning, um, and when I first started the video. But I mean, hey, guys, I mean, that's my favorite, my favorite member. And he commented on my picture out of who knows how many people who probably tag him in their pictures. And yeah, so I'm like super excited. <laughs> so yeah. Um, and then let's talk about about the contest I won today. Um, a few days ago, I think Sunday, was it Sunday? It might have been Saturday. O-Town posted on their Facebook um, that if we, if the people who follow them share the status, then five people will randomly be selected to win the Skype call. Um, no lie guys, I shared that status like, I don't even know how many times, it was over 20 times. Um, constantly sharing that status and then even some of my friends shared it for me and tagged me saying they wanted me to win it if they got picked and thank you guys Tammy you're amazing thank you um, I don't even know anyways I'm sharing this and this morning this morning at like maybe nine o'clock maybe a little bit before they did another status saying that the winner would be announced in two hours I had to be at work at 9.30 this morning, guys. I had to open the store. And um, I checked my phone throughout the whole morning. I didn't get off till about 2.30. The whole time at work, I would take a break and go check my phone and see if I had one. I would keep on checking it, keep on checking it. And sure enough, after everyone leaves, and it's just me and my assistant manager sitting down talking, it posts up there that I won. <laughs> <laughs> that I won. It said the the first winner is Hope Alexandra. Congrats. Send us your Skype information. And <laughs> guys, I don't even know. I don't even know. Like nothing like this ever happens to me. I never win anything. I never. I never get anything. I can't tell you how many contests I entered way back when from M Magazine and Popstar Magazine and J14. I entered so many contests to win things and not once did I ever win and 
And I did. <laughs> um, 13 years. 13 years I've been waiting for this day. Because I never got anything. Nothing I ever wanted like that. I never got, I never got to go to concerts. I never got to meet anybody. <laughs> like I went to Skype call like 13 years after becoming a fan of these guys and you know like I said it's just been an emotional roller coaster all day <laughs> and I just want to say thank you guys for picking me I've worked my ass off to show that status over and to support you guys and thank you thank you so much um I just want to say that I'm so glad that you guys are doing this reunion um Eric, Jacob, Dan, Trevor, you guys seriously, seriously changed my life. And for me to say that I still love you guys to this very day, it says something about the impact that you had on my life as a young girl. Um, I support you guys 100%. And I've even, I've even forewarned my friends on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and Tumblr, Tumblr even, like there's going to be an O-Town overload because I'm behind you guys no matter what. And um, I just hope that one day I'll be able to meet you guys or see you in concert, like really see you in concert. And um, I can't wait to do this Skype call and actually get to talk to you guys and thank you and and say hi even I don't even know I'm so excited I don't even know what to say like I don't even know what to say but I'm gonna I'm so excited and I can't wait um there's nothing else I could possibly want but to meet you guys one day and see you in concert have you sing a song I don't know to my followers um, go like O-Town's Facebook follow them on Twitter follow them individually on Twitter and Instagram um, share this video get them some more fans show them that we are behind them no matter what if you are an O-Town fan from years back or if you just found them a few years ago it doesn't matter we are all a family we are all O-Towners and we will forever and always be O-Towners um, once again this is Alexandra Rose welcome to Rock and Rose thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe all my links will be below for everything even for O-Town stuff I'll catch y'all next time. Bye.